All right, for this Ed Puzzle, we are going to do an angles review today. Um, you are going to need a whiteboard or you're going to need your pencil and paper. So pause the video at this point, take a second, go grab those materials, and then come back because you're going to be drawing some of the pictures and solving for a whole bunch of different angle measurements. All right, so in this first example that we have here, and I'm sorry, some of the images are a little pixelated. Part of the reason I was trying to get them as large as I could so that you could see them on your screen a little bit easier. Um, but we're going to start off with this angle that's right here, and we can definitely call this an acute angle. Um, but if you remember, there's some different ways that we can actually name the angle. We can use the three letters, we can use the number inside, we can use the vertex. Go ahead and take a minute and select which one is not going to be a way that we are actually able to um, name this angle. So which one is not a way we can name the angle? If you chose angle BAC, you were correct because BAC goes in this order, which is not a correct way of naming the angle. We can call this angle 4, we could call it angle B, we could call it angle ABC, and we could also call it angle CBA, but we can't start with the vertex and then go to the other two spots. For this particular one, um, looking at these angles, I'm noticing a letter X here, which tells me that when I look and they are opposites, that is a vertical relationship. What I can do when I have vertical angles, if you remember, is to set up the equation blank equals blank, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my two different angles and actually input them into the two sides of the equation because the angle marked 2x plus 6 is going to have the same number of degrees as the angle marked 80. So if we go ahead and solve this one, we subtract 6 from both sides. So we get 2x equals 74. We divide through by 2. And x is going to be equal to 37 degrees then on this particular one with verticals. Um, similar to the time that we talked about vertical angles, which would be, for example, this one and this one over here, which you notice this one's not marked, at about that same time we talked about a thing called a linear pair, which are two angles together here. So linear pair, when we set those up, they're two angles that add together to give you a straight line, and a straight line is 180 degrees. So you're going to go ahead and set up and solve the equation for the linear pair that we see here in the picture. When you solve it, you're going to input the two pieces from the angles. You can either do 3x plus 50 first or the 112. It's not going to matter because we're adding. I do notice over here that I have three different things going on, so I need to combine my like terms. So I have a plus 50 and a plus 112 which is going to give me 162 equals that 180. And I still have that 3x out front then. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 162. And in doing that, I get 3x is equal to 18. Divide by 3, and x equals 6 degrees. Remember when you're showing work to put your degree symbol on there, but when you actually see it on a test or a quiz, you would just type in the number 6, or you could just, or you can um, just answer with the number 6 is fine. In this one, um, take a look at the relationship that's here, identify it, and then solve for x. If you said this was a linear pair, you're in good shape here because the two angles together form a line. So two angles together with the plus sign form equals the 180. So here we have 15x and we have 15. So we're going to subtract 15 from both sides. That's going to give me 15x is equal to 165. You're going to divide through by 15 and you're going to get x equals 11 degrees then. In this picture, um, you can notice here, number one, I see an X, I see some verticals, and then I also see a couple of missing angles that are here. I do see some straight lines, so we're going to kind of get this one started together. Um, when I look at the picture, I'm noticing an X right about here. Um, which is going to show me that we have vertical angles, and vertical angles are congruent to each other. So if this one's 70, angle 2 is also 70 degrees. Um, looking then at this part of the picture over here, 
I notice that together these all form a straight line and we have this straight line going up right here. So when I look at them all together, they should equal to 180. So if I start off, I have 180, I take away the 70, I take away the 65, and I end up with, if I do 180 minus 70 minus 65, typing into my calculator, I have 45 degrees then. So angle one here is going to be 45 degrees. Using knowledge that you have, can you actually figure out what would be the measure of angle three? In this particular one, angle three is part of that line right there. So together they form a line. So the only two angles that you have are two and three. And so far you've used 70 of the 180 degrees, which means that angle three is 110 degrees. Take a second, copy down this picture on your whiteboard, and I'm gonna have you attempt to fill in all of the missing angles here. All right, so looking at verticals, notice these two are verticals here. So angle two is 30 degrees. Um, if I look at angle three, this one's given to me because of this box that's down here in the corner. Um, knowing that this box can also extend to down here, which means these two angles are what we call complementary. Remember that, the CO90. So if this is 30, this one would have to be 60 degrees because 30 plus 60 is equal to 90. And in a similar fashion, if I'm looking up here, I also have a right angle because these two form a line. So 30 plus 60. Could have also said that these two here, one and four, are verticals, which is an option. And then the final one that we have, it's not marked anything that we need to know, but this one we could say is 90 degrees. So if we're looking at angle one is 60 degrees, angle two is 30 degrees, angle three is 90 degrees, and angle four is 60 degrees. Take a look at this picture here. Um, if you want to, go ahead and pause the video, sketch this on your whiteboard. Um, big thing that you should hopefully notice is that while there's a triangle here, you don't really even need to focus in on that triangle because the reality is it's not really part of your picture, which is kind of nice. So if you really look, you just have an X scenario here. And looking at these two angles together, these two form a line. So they're a linear pair. So if they're a linear pair, that tells me blank plus blank equals 180. So I have 3x plus 5 is equal to x plus 11. I'm going to combine my like terms. 3x plus x is 4x. A plus 5 and a plus 11 is plus a 16 equals to 180. So I'm going to subtract my 16 on both sides. And I'm going to get 4x equals... 164. And if I divide through by 4, I'm going to get x is 41 degrees. Now, the question mark down here is actually the missing angle that we need to find. So, your job right now is to plug in x into the picture and tell me what is the measure of the missing angle. Plugging x in, I would say I'm going to actually plug it in here because here and here are verticals. So if I figure out this one, I can actually automatically know this one. I come up here so I have some space. 3 times x, so 3 times 41, plus 5. 3 times 41 is going to give me 123, plus 5 is going to be 128 degrees. So that tells me the question mark is equal to 128 degrees then. Looking at this one, A and B are parallel lines. That's important. Measure of angle 3 is 128 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and I would say sketch this. Pause the video. Sketch this on your whiteboard. Fill in that 128. And then what I would recommend doing, we're going to have to find the measure of angle 8, which is down here. I would just go ahead and fill in this whole entire clump. And then I would go ahead and do the slide. So if this one's 128, this one's 128. And if these are 128, this is going to be 180 minus 128, which is going to give me 52 degrees here and here.
And like we talked about in class, you can take this whole picture right here and you can just copy it, paste it down here. So this is going to be 52. This is going to be 128, 128, and this one's going to be 52 degrees. So the measure of angle 8 is going to be 52 degrees by using the angle slide. Take a minute here and you're going to go ahead and clump and then you're going to slide. What is the missing angle? Well, what I can do here is if you want to slide first, um, the 47 is in the bottom left, so I could in theory move it right up here and then realize that these two are vertical angles. So if I do that, the question mark is equal to 47 degrees. Even if I filled in the whole picture and did the slide, I would still find this is 47 degrees. Next one here, we're going to go ahead and clump and we're going to slide, write and solve an equation then. So if I slide this, it's in the top right, it's going to come right here. What you're going to notice is that these two, this is a right angle, which means that all of these in here are going to be right angles as well. So I could actually say it's a linear pair with this angle right here, or I could use the fact that these two would end up being verticals. So either way would be acceptable. So you're either going to have 4x plus 12 plus 90 equals 180, blank plus blank equals 180, or blank equals blank, 4x plus 12 equals 90. Um, either way, you're going to have 4x plus 102 equals 180. Subtract your 102. 4x is equal to here, 78. So 78 then divided by the 4 is going to give you a 19.5 degree angle for x. In here, go ahead and clump it, do the slide, and solve for x. When I clump, I'm going to notice they're both in the bottom right corner, so when I slide this, they go into the same spot. If they're in the same spot, they're definitely going to be equal, so I'm going to have 23x minus 5 is equal to 21x plus 5. So I'm going to go ahead and move the smaller, which is the 21x. 23 minus 21 is 2x. Minus 5 equals 5. Add 5 to both sides. 2x is equal to 10. Divide by 2, and I get x equals 5 degrees. In this example here, we can go ahead and do the slide. Do, 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 do. Top right, I'm going to move it up. It's going to go into the top right here, 5x minus 10. Notice how these two are related. Write and solve your equation. Because they're across from each other, they are verticals. So I'm going to have 5x minus 10 equals 3x plus 10. I'm going to move my smaller variable, which is the 3x. 5x minus 3x is 2x still have the minus 10. Over here, they cancel, bring down your 10. Add 10 to both sides. 2x is equal to 20. So I divide by 2, and x is 10 degrees. In this example, um, notice that here we have a trapezoid, but we have two parallel lines here. Really, honestly, don't need the whole right-hand side of the picture. So we could take this and cover it up because we really don't need it is our reality. Um, when I look here, what might actually help me is to go ahead and extend this line up a little bit so it looks a little bit more like what I'm used to seeing. And clump. And clump. And I'm going to slide this one down from the top. He's in the bottom left. So I'm going to slide him down here. What do you notice about these two? Well, you actually notice that they are across from each other, which means they are verticals. Remember, our options are vertical or linear pair. So they are equal to each other. So if I have 22x and I have 27x minus 15, um, in this case, usually we move the smaller of the variables, but we're going to actually have to move the bigger one here. So I'm going to move 27x. 
and negative 5x is equal to negative 15, divide by negative 5, and x equals 3 degrees.